Here to help us with some common problems down there is urologist Dr. Aaron Spitz. He's currently in our procedure room with someone we're going to call John Doe because he wants to remain anonymous. So, gentlemen, thanks for being here. And, John, why don't you go and explain why you're back there in the exam room? I'm here because uh, most guys are embarrassed about their size and stuff like that, but I'm more embarrassed because I'm not formed all the way and I appear to have uh, two openings on the underneath part of my penis. So you, have you had this your whole life? Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, more noticeable after, after high school and stuff, become more self-conscious with it. So, so Dr. Spitz, I know you're going to perform an exam because part of today's show is getting over your embarrassment to see if there's a solution. Right. So why don't you go ahead and start your exam on John and guys, this is something that's so very important to be brave enough to have the quote unquote embarrassing exam because you need to check for things like testicular cancer, penile abnormalities, and this is the only way to do it. It's something that's bothering him and, mm -hmm. and most likely it's something that can be fixed. So yeah, you never want to ignore something that's not more normal down there. We talk about self exams for women, for, for, for their breasts, uh, men and, and their testicles is the same thing. Okay, well, uh, it turns out that John has one actual hole, and that's the urethra or the pee hole, which ends just a little short of the tip of his male anatomy. Uh, this condition is called a hypospadias, and it's common. About one in 300 men are born with this condition. Now, in many cases, it's more severe than what you have. It can end at the middle or even the base near the scrotum. In most cases, this condition is corrected during childhood, but in a mild case like yours, it can be missed by parents and pediatricians. And it can be embarrassing. It can be embarrassing to urinate in a public bathroom because of spraying. And it can be embarrassing to initiate a new intimate relationship because of the unusual appearance. When men notice this condition, they really ought to seek help because it turns out that in many cases, this can be straightforwardly corrected by a urologist with a simple outpatient surgical procedure. So there, there is hope, mm -hmm. Absolutely. and John took the first step by being brave enough to be here today. That's good. Thank you so much, John, for being, being here with us today. We hope this all helps. Yeah.